time to, so I'm not. Uh, Yes, so I, I believe in your motivation and uh, your skills too. So I'm not worrying a lot about what you guys will be doing. Uh, and but normally, I don't know if uh, you have any issues. So the groups I should be supporting. Uh, make sure you have uh, just put you, you have me inside the groups so that I can. I will, after this meeting, I will go and look at some of the the the, the question, the comment, and how you are doing as well. So make sure I'm there. And uh, for all, all of you, so now this, I, I will just I want to hear about you about the your progress. So I will just we will do the stand. I will design uh, people are just proposed that uh, giving me names so then you can share with me what are you how are you doing and how do you plan to what are your difficulty and how do you plan to to, to fix them and uh, so today and today is Friday so it's end of week and we still having one week for this uh, challenge so how do you plan your weekend uh, how do you want to relax and uh, by next uh, Monday, how will you continue on your your challenge? So I want to hear from you and then we can we can see. So um, yes, okay. We can nominate Ken. So Ken, are you able to talk? Just go. Well, I'm just joined right now, but okay. So um yeah, what have we done? Okay, we're, we're from a meeting with the team, mm -hmm. and we've divided our tasks. Mm -hmm. And what else have we done? Okay, um, we today what we are planning on doing is um finding a way to label the tweets because the sentiment analysis is not working that well, and then um mm -hmm. finding the different key players. So that we can plug those accounts to our user timeline account, and also I'm having a challenge to to connect to um to connect to AWS. It's connecting, but I can't access my I can't access the Jupyter notebook on AWS. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's all right. And uh, so the next thing is, uh, so Mikari just proposed Ken, and then I am proposing Mikari. Yes. <laughs> so Mikari, can you come on? I'm in the same group as Ken. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm proposing you. <laughs> okay, fine. So as Ken has said, yeah. we just had a meeting, and we actually mm -hmm looked at different things that like okay for me I personally went mm -hmm. from scratch and noticed a few things we might have missed on the way and proposed and now we're heading in a proper direction with added features and yeah so far so good. Okay, okay. Yes. And so did you finish? Oh, this connection. Did you finish? Yes, 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 I did. Okay, okay, okay. No, this is running here, so that's why the connection is not stable. That is okay. So did you saw the name I put? The, the, yes, Elvis is the less. Good morning, guys. Hello. Elvis, just go. Okay, so... Uh... 
so yeah we we've just had a meeting uh uh and uh, and we are making progress we we are making progress actually yesterday we were able to get the data uh from some cities and uh yeah and now we want to proceed to uh eda and uh, from the uh, from a far look uh, on the data we can see that these there's some trend and uh, yeah you can get uh some insights so we 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 just want to dive into eda and see the insights that we will get out of it thank you no blockers and it was nice uh using screen and okay. server okay yeah <laughs> and uh yes thank you too yes so yeah the next thing <laughs> do you understand french <laughs> Okay, okay, the next is um, Ada. Ada, you can oh, talk. Okay, so for my group, oh, we successfully scrapped the, the tweets. Uh, so today, Brian is building the dashboard and Paddy and yeah. me we're cool. working on the sentiment analysis and then Samuel and Edwin are working on the, 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 the paper. So we're good up to now okay okay, okay did you finish yeah yes i did john i'm done uh as you done, uh, it, it is my network. Have you done? Okay. So I think it's my, yeah, it's my network. It's my network. So the next question is Moluak. If you can hear me, just go on. No luck. If uh, Moluak is not there, then we move to Naum. Okay. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday was a good day for me. It's an honor to represent yes. in Academy. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. So it was an honor to represent Ten Academy at such a big stage. I'm grateful for the Ten Academy team. I'm also grateful for my team for to my team for covering things up since I wasn't available yesterday. So it was a nice event. So I was the very second speaker and I started introducing myself at okay. Ten Academy, what Ten Academy is doing. Uh, and I told them that we're forming a strong Ethiopian data science community to create the awareness that data is of huge importance for countries like Ethiopia and our neighbors. And data science is the key to getting the fruits of it. I then continued by providing some inputs on how Ethio Telecom can improve in terms of operations, especially in choosing the right locations for towers to be placed uh, after talking about the gaps I observed with, uh, in that regard. Uh, I then continued by mentioning 10 academies open to working together and the ways in which we can help. Uh, networking was expected to happen during lunchtime. Uh, we were four on a table due to the COVID-19, due to COVID-19. And two of those uh, thought I really was a representative of 10 Academy. They, didn't know that I was a student, so they were really keen to get my attention while I was working to get the attention of the other person. Uh, he was uh, uh, such an accomplished person. He has so much experience uh, in tech and he has a big technological firm. And finally, I was able to apply some of the tips by uh, Idris on his non-technical sessions. And I gave my leaf letter pitch and I finally was able to uh, get his phone number, uh, his uh, phone number, and we exchanged phone numbers, and he told me that he will reach out to me when uh, there is any job available for 
actually they're not a data science uh, firm but they're a technological firm they do software engineering so he told me that he'll uh, call me when there is something available and as a whole everything was great i was expecting people to have uh, to, you know to enjoy lunch the lunch but uh, almost 50 percent of the people left without having lunch and uh, 90 percent were didn't even have a dessert but uh, i made sure that that wasn't the case for me i had 10 uh, 10 times impact on the dessert and the lunch as uh, suggested by so it was a great day overall thank you very much and thank you team for covering up for me yesterday do they have any special food that's hard to get okay, okay. the home do they have any special dishes <laughs> yeah special yeah Romy was uh, was not there because of covid 19 but yeah there were special dishes not for you, maybe, but right. <laughs> in Ethiopian standards, yes. Is, 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 COVID, is COVID transmitted in raw meat? Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's not <laughs> going to be cooked. Okay. Uh, you know, the government is not okay with uh, uh, raw meat. I hope, I hope you can still fit in this okay. nice suit. Uh, wow, that's a nice one. Huh? <laughs> Thing is, uh, you know, you have to keep your swag, your cool, so you just don't, uh, you know, uh, take as many as you want. So you have to look professional. And uh, you know, I was acting like, oh yeah, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. Do you want anything to be added, sir? Oh no, I'm okay, I'm okay, no problem. But, you know, I had to look professional, but. Uh, I was really, really looking for getting that dessert again. Thanks. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not sending you again now. Home. Yeah, come again. I said we. We're not oh. sending you. We should all try. Yeah, now is that is a question for you. Is... Yeah, uh, Bini, I'm, I'm looking at your question. Yeah, I was thinking uh, about bringing it to you, but you know, uh, security is high. That's why. Uh, but I was keen on bringing you this one uh, fruit salad they had, but it was amazing. Yeah. But uh, I think. Uh, just for for anyone who doesn't know, Sheraton is probably the best restaurant. I mean, the best hotel in Ethiopia. But I would say even of all many of five star hotels, I stayed even outside Ethiopia. It's probably one of really good one. So yeah, that's right. And thank you very much for the team for giving me such an opportunity. Is, is that the one near the hot spring? Yeah. Oh wow! Well, that one is lovely. Oh man, I, if I, I, I thought it was, <laughs> I would have come. I would have come myself. No, you stayed there. <laughs> no, I, I met somebody there. I haven't stayed. There. I met someone there. All right, thank, thank you, now. <laughs> cool. Okay, so um, so after now we have John. Uh, so are we doing it one by one or group rip? So John, for example, you could represent your group so that uh, and whoever oh, okay. in your group want to do add on top of that, that's fine. So it's just like let's make it group so that we know exactly what's going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello. Good morning. Morning. I think uh, Nahom's love for raw meat is unmatchable. Uh, for Kenyans, maybe only the Maasai that do love raw meat. Okay, so for for our group, uh, we had uh, tried to like mine a sample of data with some few users, so that we can start, let's say, doing some uh, some few analysis as we extract more data. So currently, we are we are mining more data. Yeah, and uh, somehow probably what we are facing is. Uh, the timeline we are 
we are past timeline uh, according to the timeline <clears throat> we, we we are not as per the timeline at the moment because the timeline was saying that uh, as at now we should have already mined the data but we will adjust uh, accordingly yeah that's all Anyone in the team want to add before moving to the next team? Okay, good morning. Morning. Yeah, to add to what uh, Marika said, uh, we have been able to mine some data, but we are just going specifically to cities. So I think Erika is going specifically to cities in Kenya, Nigeria, and Ethiopia. There was an error, but at least we have been able to mine that for Africa. We are now going into the different cities, like in Lagos, the major cities like Lagos and other cities in other African countries. Great. Hello, I'm done. Great, yeah. So, Ja, just continue. I'm, I'm, I assume that you are leading, so I, I just only interfered to hear as team by team, but continue the lead. Okay, so next team then. Who's uh, who's next? Hi, it's me and Kevin. Um, so my team and I, uh, we are we are yet to collect the data, or although we are just about there. We are working on different methods to do this, different techniques, and yeah, we're almost there. I'm sure we're going to be done by the end of the day and get the data. Um, we've had blockers because of I think the ones that everyone has had. Um, to IPI not having, not allowing anybody to scrape data more than seven weeks, uh, more, more than one week, seven days. And we're going, we're working to go away around that. Um, my team and I, um, we, we have two people that can't access AWS, and that's a major block on our part. Um, and then we've tagged the other band, we're looking forward to hearing your feedback. And other than that, everyone is doing well. Yeah. Right. Anyone to add on Kevin in the team? Anything he hasn't said or you want to? Claire, is Claire there? Oh. Yes. I think uh, Claire is in the same group and uh, Natana, any of you are just there and want to add something to what Kevin just said, just go on. Stephanie, go. Talk with Ada in the next. Let's go. So I and also. Hello. What is going on? So anyone from the next group? I'm not sure. I don't know which groups I joined late. Um, yeah, me too. So um, has any, like, Ja, have, has anyone 
has every group updated or are we just waiting for another group? Okay, good morning. I think Gerard will speak for our team, Gerard. Okay, Gerald, I think uh, that probably was uh, his connection. Okay, sorry, he left probably. So, Gerald, could you tell us an update on the group? Yeah, morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, just, yeah, just to add, Nahom had already spoken, but just to add. So, our team, we started, uh, we started mining the data. So, we had a challenge the first day. So yesterday we had a meeting and we changed our strategy. So we had the normal challenges that everyone was facing. Uh, so yesterday's meeting, we changed our timeline a bit, uh, but by this morning I can say we're on track because we have been able to like download about a million tweets for like almost five keywords. Uh, and uh, it's still going on. So we what we did yesterday, we generated a sample of a hundred it's for like every keyword and then from there it enabled different people in our group to like work on different parts of the code so those who will be working on the sentiment analysis so they is his network dropped probably Or is that my network? No, we can hear you. So was Gerald just stopped in the middle? Maybe his network dropped. I don't know. Someone else from Gerald's group? Yeah, okay. So as he was saying, we were already getting some data and we needed to filter it. We're also working on visualization, uh, uh, visualization in terms of the raw extracted data and of course after also uh, analyzing the sentiment of each and every one of them so the group is you know tasked with the different aspects so we have the sentiment analysis going on with Bessie and visualization with TJ so I think we're managing our time efficiently and the uh, one working on ways in which we can incorporate the crisp team methodology and he's working on the reporting so i think everything is going well okay no great so i think it's a good uh, progress but so you have one million you said about one million tweets do you know the fraction hello. of the hello yeah hey, i'm back. back sorry you said uh, it's great that you, got, you guys got a lot of tweets which is really great so do you know the fraction of the tweets that that are kind of related to your, like if you check randomly, like each of you, let's say, if you are six, each of you 10, randomly just sample it. Do you know the, like, how many of those kind of correspond to the topic? If you, you know, if you just see it by eye, do you know how, yeah. how much of it talks on the topic that you are interested? Yeah, uh, so like, uh... Uh, what happened, the strategy used when mining the tweets was that we searched by keywords. So, for example, if we took something like food poisoning, we have a million tweets on food poisoning. Now we have to filter them based on location. Yeah, so, but what I'm going to really see is that, so a million, that's great. So, the based on the keyword, that's great. So, then still may not, food poisoning, it could be completely on complete different area that's not COVID related, right? So it would be wow. good. I mean, it's, it, it's just, you have to start filtering you, you very, yeah. yeah, before visualization, before doing in, in detail analysis, sentiment, don't run sentiment on each of them. Just, you know, sentiment should be just only when you have a clarity on what kind of tweet they are. So I would say yeah. just, test on like the using the tweets definitely you can test on tokenization and all the other things but don't go into detail analysis before understanding what your data is otherwise it's kind yeah. of but set up like these things and filter early find out by eye also like how many of them are, are there and um yeah so it's kind of do quickly quick checks on on how much of it is relevant so that you can 
and, and learn what what you should do better for example to next when you download in your next iteration of downloading to get more content more signal because i could expect could be a lot almost very tiny fraction that of the tweet might be the one that you're interested in, in that case so it's just good to do quick check Okay, uh, not it. and then the other thing is that uh, uh, I really like love our group. So it's the first time like we were like using the Git branches, and then somebody has to match then the pull request. So it's really happy that we've learned. And then you know when you wake up and then you do like you're trying to have match branches, and then you have like a match error, and then you're like, so today I woke up with a match error. You just feel confident and makes you feel like. You are developed and you're growing, so I'm really happy for our team. So perfect. Yeah, no, that's really good. I think I hope that every other team also is doing that. I mean, I, I know that for some of you I, I made a comment in, in how should to not do in tweet and uh, Twitter. I mean, at least in kind terms of the you know, your private data shouldn't be there and tweet data shouldn't be in GitHub because that will you'll be sued. And for that, I mean for now it's okay, but you know, it's it's that's why there is the scratch directory and the workspace directory that you can share data there. Don't share data on on tweet on GitHub uh, tweet data, and also never put your private kind of key. I don't know tokens, whatever there. So it's just um, in general, and also adopt exactly like the good things from one other team, like working with branch and the stuff. I think it's really rewarding. As Gerald said, so I would say like for other teams also to adopt something similar. Great, thanks. Another I team. I have so, no idea what you guys are talking about anymore. Actually, you guys are way over my head. It's a good habit in Git. <laughs> <laughs> it's more no, it's, habit. It's, it's good to see. I feel like I'm in one of the Everbell's team meetings where I have no idea what's going on. Um, yeah, I think you can ask Gerald now. So and, and next team is like, can we hear update? Because you see, like if you update the team just in, 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 in such detail, you can get feedback even here, right? So that's why I really like these meetings to be more like stand up quick. But I mean, okay, it's not quick, unfortunately, but it should be. But yeah, let's hear an update. And then, um, yeah, it's time already. So we could um, leave it to the AMA. Um, can I can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, um, there's a challenge you gave us on week, was it two or something, about the community detection. Yeah. Um, do you think that code can be used to get different key players? Because in terms of the people who are dealing with food, food quantity. I think, so. I think there's no difference. Yeah, it's the same thing. It just, uh, it's, yeah, you have to, understand which users are going to be in this case relevant so your ministry of for example you know whatever related to food will be key to understand and some doctors who are like on health and food whatever like nutritionalists whatever could be and some again influencers who are in the area of whatever could be so it's about how you identify but yeah the code is going to be the same i don't think I mean, you will adapt it, but it, it, code is code. It's, it wouldn't change. Yeah. Is that does that answer, Ken? Or uh, yeah, but the code the code that you shared had some problems. Can we have the like the? I think that the solution the, is already the correct there. one. Because because um, I personally I wasn't able to do it. So, but some the person who is like um classifying the tweets on our group. Um, I told him like probably that code might be really helpful for him if he can. Yeah, I think it. it's, yeah, the, the code solution is already in Git, so okay, okay. people could find. But I would, I can just also share the link. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So is that Mokeli? Just you want go on. So my suggestion is not based on anything technical, it's more of community. Uh, I, I was informed that um, Nigeria celebrated their independence day the other day. So I was thinking, 
we should have a sort of reversed MUN sort of stand-up, whereby we each kind of analyze African countries and what they've done since their independence, and if there's something we can do to like help them. If there's a problem, just a forum to like talk about Africa, and if you are given a child to take care of during independence, how does your child look thus far? That's it. I mean, that, that is really, yeah, I, I, I really like it. Um, what do people think? I mean, that's, that sounds next level of AMA. One, th one thing I'll add to that, uh, so I think ideas like this are great. As I've been doing the one-on-ones, um, one of the suggestions that I've been making to many people is to find a way to stay in touch to keep the community going. And maybe Mokali, this is a great idea or a great way to kind of bring people together around a sort of joint project, which is of interest to everybody. But I, for most of you, I think it's important to stay in touch with the community. So maybe projects, ideas like this, why not just get started? So uh, I think I, on top, just exactly what I what comes to my mind is that, given that we are data scientists, we are not a sociologist. That the the best way is also to shed light on that using data. So is there data that can help us also understand more than just what we think? So exactly the same thing. So we every week, for example, we could take one country like Nigeria. And everyone tries to, I mean, the Nigerians could lead because they know where the data probably could be, whatever, but trying to shade on that, like what has been, you know, uh, quantify what just uh, Mikali said, just that would be fantastic. I think that's something I would be very interested in and keen to to help as well. So it's, it's really nice. Let's Let's keep that in mind, I think. So maybe you could you could lead it, uh, Mikali. Just could you lead the formation of that and kind of making sure that we continue with that line? I will try. Or I need need one more person to help me. Yeah, I mean, it's we try to help you, but more like take the become the product owner of it. Just you know, people could be forgetting it, but you you would be the one to ask for, I don't know, coordinate it, I would say. Okay. Great. So, then let's hand it over to... Just before before we go to the AMA, just an announcement that we do have a guest talk tonight. So we have Damaris from 2017. Um, Damaris is working as a data scientist, did not have a data science background. Um, Yevabel's favorite question from 2017 came from Damaris. I still don't know how to say her last name, but she's talking at, um, what time is she talking at? 6 p.m. Rwanda time, 7 p.m. Uh, Kenya time. So guest talk from Damara. She's currently working at DPO Group. Um, and I'm gonna post her last name and maybe one of the Kenyans can tell us how do you say this last name because I really don't know how to say it. Maybe I could try, I'm not Kenyan. I, I I don't know if it's right or not. Anyhow, guest talk guest talk tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. All right. So um, good morning again, and welcome to our AMA. I think we've all been looking forward to our AMA with um, K. And if you're on, can we see your face? And welcome to today's AMA. Okay, there goes Ada, and I am. Oh, I'm not looking forward to your questions, but I'll I'll answer them. Okay. I'm a right, bit tired. Really. The first four hundred questions are to Mokali, and then we'll have time. <laughs> All right. So let me start with my my big question. Who is Let us know. 
I don't, I didn't get your question, Prosper. Who is Abaki? Oh, okay. Uh, well, Ada is a 21 year old Kenyan lady who. Uh, j that's just about it. My name is Ada Kibet. I stay in Mombasa. I am from Kenya. My birthday is in the 5th of March. I'm 21 years old and I love. Math, art, and data science. Okay, that's it. All right, so uh, how was growing up for you? Like, what did you find from this about growing up? Your fondest memories? No, Prosper, I can't get you clearly. Can you, can you maybe type your question or repeat it, please? Uh, okay, I'm asking the word. Uh, okay. What do you remember going up? Uh, to the chat box. So, what is my talent? Mukali, I, I don't think I have any talent. So, no, I don't have any talent. Uh, how did you begin your journey into data science? Uh, so, TJ, I started off as a Python developer, and then I focused into web development. And then I felt like it was, I was not utilizing my skills because I'm doing a course in maths and computer science, majoring in statistics. So I was like, what can I do to make use of this math knowledge that I have? So I went into data science and then I found that it's quite interesting. And so I'm stuck in data science. How do you work in the heat and humidity in Mombasa? Uh, you just get used to it, Mukali plus most of the houses and and places in Mombasa, they're fans, so you wear light clothes and you just get used to it. Um, do you watch anime? I, I'm not a big fan of anime, maybe once in a while. I'm not an anime fan. Uh, yes, Hadi, I major in statistics. My best Liverpool Champions League night uh, it was the 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 one that we were playing with Tottenham. The game was not so epic. It was a bit boring, but uh, the fact that we won and uh, also the game started with a song from Imagine Dragons, Radioactive. So the fact that they played Imagine Dragons and we won, like everyone was like, as in everyone keeps on hating on Liverpool. So that was my best moment of our Champions League night, and then. Which news website is your main one? Arun, I don't watch news, so I don't have a main website. Maybe just TV when everyone else is watching. Uh, what high school I attended. You guys are still there. I don't know if my network is okay. I'm just We so can hear you. We can hear you very well. We can hear you. Oh, okay. So I attended a high school called St. Clair Girls High School. It's in Nakuru County. Uh, it's, a, it's a Catholic school led by nuns, so Kenyans can testify to how tough nun schools are. Um, Kenyans got the chance of studying being too young. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went to school when I was young. I think that's what my mom tells me. So that's why I'm 21 and I'm... Um, Probably, and I'm done with my degree. My best moment in high school, <laughs> I'll go with the visiting days because of the, um, a long period of eating boring food, at least you get to, to eat good stuff. So I, that will be my best moment. Uh, what I regret the most is <laughs> the um, what do I regret the most? I don't know, I'll get back to that. How far can I seal my glasses? As far as you can see, Arun. Do you chew? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll put my pen down. Worst moment in high school? No worst moment. Uh, one word that, that you would use to describe Hadi. He's a bully. Yeah. He's actually my group leader and like Brian can testify to this. I mean, 
Heidi has he's just a bully. I think he's he he was just born a bully. Okay, would you like to be famous in what way? Um not particularly famous, but I'd like to leave a mark in the fields of math and art. I love art so much, so uh, I want to learn about deep learning and look into ways that I can use the deep learning into into creating arts and you know just playing around that line. So I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to to leave a mark in the world of uh, math and art. So for for the math side, I probably need a lot of learning, but I'm just hopeful that one day I'll get there and probably be like Yabi. Okay, for what in your life do you feel most grateful? I am grateful for for everything, I guess. I haven't I haven't encountered so many challenges while growing up up to where I am, so I am grateful for everything. Patrick, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> uh my day to day activity TJ uh Probably just like you, uh, there's some activities that uh, I can't go without doing, which is obviously coding. Obviously, there's the house chores, and then uh, I like doing exercises, you know, to keep fit, given the nature of our work. So I don't want to be obese or something. So, yeah, those are some of the stuff that I don't get through the day without doing. Uh, best moment in university uh the best moment in university there was this unit i was doing in statistics it's called theory of estimation so like i missed a cut i missed both cuts actually and then i reached out to the lecturer so he gave me a makeup cut and they did it and they scored two over 30 and it was like the summary of the two cuts so the chances of me getting an E in my final exam was like 90%, if not 100. So when I did the final exam, I got a score of B. So that was my best moment in university. I was really worried about you taking that unit because, yeah, the lecture is not one of the kind ones. Is still there? We're here. Okay. Uh, uh, my worst moment in university is uh, not truly really a moment, but a phase. Currently, I'm supposed to take care of my final year project, and there's also an academy, and I'm supposed to prepare for my exam. So this is my worst phase of school because there's so much to be done in so little time. Uh, what would you order? Would you order to eat for dinner if you went to a restaurant that served everything well? I love pilau. I'll go with pilau. It, pilau is like a, a better version of jollof. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> the war the war continues. Yeah, there, there was this meme that someone shared in in the old random channel. I think some some popular guy from Kenya had worn a shirt. It had been written. You are pilau. Don't let anyone treat you like jollof. So yeah, that's how superior pilau is. Uh, yeah. So your house containing everything you own catches fire after saving your loved one and pets. You have time to safely make a final dash to serve any other item. What would it be? Uh, obviously, I'd save my laptop, the first one. But now you said my loved ones and pets, I'll dash to get my laptop. Yeah. Hmm. What would you change if you have the ability to? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll get back to that. Uh, what do you like the most about yourself? Oh, TJ, what, what would I change in Africa and in Kenya? Well, uh, not, not just in Africa and in Kenya, but in the entire world. There is this, there is this great deal of chauvinism, male chauvinism, 
I mean, people deny it. They say like, God, I'm a feminist. I support women. But it's, it's like it's rooted to the core of their brains. It's like, yeah, I would try to change that. The way that most people perceive women to be like less, lesser versions of men. Or, yeah, I would change that. Um, hmm. What do you like the most about yourself? I, I like that I have this ego that lets me not settle for less. So I like that. I'll go back in time. What one piece of advice would you give to your self? I'd advise myself to, to work hard early. I mean, not to wait for, not to wait for like months or years to pass by before I start working on something that I like. I'd advise myself to get into stuff early. Uh, who has changed your life? I'll get back to that. Mukali, how do you best connect with others? Can you elaborate on that, Mukali? Um, like when you, you're in a group and you get that one person that you start talking to, what basis do you get to know each other on? Like, uh okay uh i'll probably reach out you know just say hi and then see what kind of vibe does this person give me and then depending on the vibe that's when we do my next move uh huh, yeah i hope that answers your question uh what's the the best advice you ever Stephanie, stop texting me in Slack. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? Uh, I don't know. I'm not the kind of people who usually listens to, to advice. I, you know, like, like motivation speakers and whatnot, I don't really listen to them. I just learn from people and, and you know, from my own mistakes and uh do you believe god helped you to achieve all you did so far uh tj okay i'll talk about my religion a bit in, in reference to your question um i i was born in a catholic background i've always been practicing catholicism but I don't know where my faith, my faith stands as per now. So, so if you ask me if I think God helped me in achieving what I did, I don't really have an answer for that because I don't know where my faith or my stand with God stands. So, yeah. Why are you so good at making friends? <laughs> well, being a... I don't know, maybe I just, I know how to pick the cool ones and then, so, I don't know, I don't really know, I guess, or maybe I'm just cool. So, um, um, if a genie granted you three wish, the funny, what's that, T or E? Uh, nothing, just continue with your um. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, okay, just a second. Ooh. Okay, if a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would you wish for? Easy money. I mean, that's what I'm, yeah, I, I, I'd like to have a lot of money and then, you know, have a big brain. Yeah, I'd also ask for that. How rich are my parents? Come on, bring them. What kind of a question is that? Uh, but but we are we're average. But we're not we're not so rich. We're not so rich. We're doing well. Uh, which ice cream flavor is your favorite, Kevin? Do you want to take me out to? Okay, I love vanilla so much. What are you curious about? I am curious about space. Uh, I have this unexplained fear of death. 
because it's it's something that I don't know about. So in consolation, I read, uh, I, I like, I check out stuff that talk about space because it's also another unknown. We haven't figured out the, the most part of it, but on this end, when death scares me, I go to look for consolation in space and you know, just go through the cool stuff there is to know about space. So I'm so curious about space and yeah. First of all, I, I study in the Technical University of Mombasa. I am still at school, like I'll be finishing this year. Next week I'm going to do my exams. Uh, what do you value in friendship the most? Uh, I, I'd go with honesty. I mean, yeah, there's so much uh, stuff that can describe who a good friend is, but I'll go with honesty in this one. Who is someone you really admire? <laughs> I, ad I admire David Beckham. I don't know why, but I really like David Beckham. Uh, like, when I get money, I'll look at ways that I can meet him and maybe get his autobiography. Okay. This is exhausting. Um, what do you think about the most? Uh, I, I used to fantasize a lot when I was younger, like 18 years old. But nowadays, I, I don't think much. I mean, I think about random stuff, especially the ones that surround me at the moment. So, yeah. What moments or events during your childhood shaped you, shaped who you are now? Is there anything you consider absolutely unbelievable? Okay, I'll answer the, the last one. Is there anything you consider absolutely unbelievable? Uh, yeah, actually, there, there are a bunch of stuff that people do and you don't understand why they do them. Like, something like something like rape, I consider unforgivable to me. I mean, you can justify murder of a rape to me. So that's just one of the things that I consider unforgivable. Uh, what moments or events during your childhood shaped who you are? Um, I don't know, Carly. I, I don't know how I can answer that. What are the major time points in your life? One, when I I went for my internship in this space called Swahili Box, it's in Mombasa. I was a lazy coder. It was more of a, I programmed, but I didn't actually program if you, if you get what I'm saying. So when I went to Swahili Box, I got this really tough manager. Lotome can testify to that. He's called Ali Salim. He, He's a game dev and he studied in Cambridge. So he was like, he like he worked with time frames. He'd give you loads and loads of work, not even caring if you are a newbie in programming. And then like, he didn't care about excuses. So like, my experience in Swahili Box is one of the major turning points in my life. Yeah. That's now my favorite YouTube channel. I don't have one. TJ. Um, grossest thing I've ever drunk. Kenyans, do you know konyagi? Well, konyagi is, is is a spirit. It's it's contained in this small can. I think it's green. I don't even know if it's vodka, but it's just yeah. If you're a Kenyan, definitely you know what konyagi is. So that's the grossest thing that I've drunk. Um, what do you like most about your current and academy team? <laughs> well, uh, about my current team, my team members, my teammates are Hadi, Brian, Dev, um, Samuel Negash, and Ridwan. Uh, okay, Hadi, Hadi is a bully, but he gets the job done. So that's what I like about him. Brian, Brian is cool. He keeps on reaching out for, you know, he's just, yeah. And then Samuel, Samuel is a bit busy. Ridwan, Ridwan is also, I like him because like, 
he he does a lot of research and asks a lot of questions and uh, despite the fact that he usually goes to work he tries to yeah to to do the group work if you want kenyan what would you what would you be then i'm in africa or in the entire world no worldwide uh i'd like to to be a frenchman i really love france i don't know why but if i wa- i wasn't not that i regret being kenyan kenyan i really love but i am a kenyan but i'd love to be a frenchman okay what is the strongest animal we could win against with just your bare hands and feet mutali jamani okay I think dog, I, I don't know, or a human being, yeah, a human being is an animal, so I'd go with a human being, someone who's smaller than me, obviously. What do you think about aliens? What do you think aliens would actually do or be like, just like they show us in the movies, you know, big eyes, small nose, small mouth triangular head yeah that's that's when you talk about aliens that that's what my mind thinks about so what's your dream car jeep wrangler and maybe bmw if i have a second option the x series um thank you tj why do If you were in a high speed chase what song would you want playing on the radio anything by linkin park yeah one of those episodes one of those stanzas when chester screams like the world is ending so yeah that's what i got that go for anything by linkin park chester's voice uh you guys are still there Hello. Yeah, we are still Hello. here. Yeah, we can hear okay. you right now. Okay. Uh why yeah, don't you here. have a profile yeah, of yourself? Uh I had a profile picture Ilekura. I'm just not a fan of putting up my pictures, so I dropped it after I assumed everyone knew who Ada was. So, yeah. I ruin or yeah the ball. <laughs> like Stephanie said, I'd go to Yabba Ball for technical stuff, and I'd go to Arun for non-technical stuff. Uh, Prosper or Jean, just like Arun and Yabba Ball, Jean for the, for the technical, Prosper for the soft skills. Uh, why are there six fingers on the hand of your profile picture? Do you have six fingers? Biniam, you have to look closely. They're not six fingers, they're five. They're, they're the end. the other end is oh i can't see my profile picture now but my video is on but the other end is like they just some extended that for uh huh um mm. okay. i'm trying to Hmm. Hey, swelling mob. I'm trying to scroll. Okay, in what scenario, if any, is it okay to lie? Um, Kali, I lie a lot, so I think any scenario that needs lying, then you're good to go. Kevin, I'll hit you in the inbox. Uh, when, if ever, is it okay to break the law? <laughs> when necessary uh, what's my relationship status i am single i think i'm single currently taking in applications uh, uh what's the most important lesson a child uh <laughs> uh let's see 
any anything good i mean you can you can teach the child about discipline you can teach them about order you can teach them about how life is not the palaces we think about when we're young just tell them the reality but at the same time just try to to feel the you know the the harsh part of the world how often do you go out of your way to help someone uh or lashore it depends on on what the person needs if it's if it's something uh, important and i can make compromises then yeah I, i can't count the number of things i can do it just depends on the on the conditions or what the, the status yeah i have exams my final exams actually i'm happy about the exams because i was worried i was not going to finish school this year but at least I'll be done uh, my biggest regret I'll get back to those mukali if you're not coding what would you be doing I'd probably be trimming the flowers I, I love the environment like in my home no one else does it it's just me and my dad so and he has this back problem so he can't do it So when I'm not coding and I don't feel like watching a show, I just go outside and trim the flowers and, you know, do one or two things to the, the compound. I think, where do you want to? Okay. No, TJ, I'm not in a classroom. Lamborghini or Bugatti? Why is there no Ferrari in the list? I'd go with Ferrari. uh <laughs> patchy curry mind well hide in terms of what um, okay i'll not answer that because it's not responding uh uh oh last question good uh you're going to outer space what planet do you want to see uh saturn i don't know why but uh, okay everyone is obsessed about mars because at least some research has been done on mars but i'd like to go to saturn uh would you rather go back in time to see the dinosaurs or jump forward a thousand years to see our futuristic society I'd really wish if there was an option for both but because you gave me two choices I'd rather jump in the future to see our futuristic futuristic society if you could make one book or movie a reality which would you choose uh this this movie it's called Split Nabil knows about it because we talk about such stuff it's it's about this guy he has mental health issues he has like nine older egos he's a baby one minute he's an assassin in the next so i'd like to bring it to life and then so that the the shrinks and the psychologists can actually study the guy and unveil the 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 all behind the human brain i mean there's so much we don't know about the the humans so yeah i think i'd go with that uh hmm. uh french have it was especially the taxes imposed on them spain tax more if you want stab on what we <laughs> Do you like the blue or do you prefer to use something else? Uh, I like the blue. I mean, I like anything that brings out cool plots. So, yeah. Linkin Park or Green Day? Linkin Park all the way, Kevin. As much as Chester killed himself, I still listen to Mike. And you know, Linkin Park songs are not fad. I'm not saying that Green Day is... their fad but linkin park is just on its own level uh and then 
what do you mean by currently taking in applications? I mean, I am open to to considering people to being my my partners. Yeah, I am applying. Do I need recommendations? <laughs> uh, William, what do you mean by currently taking applications? I already answered that. Uh, Binyam, what you need is ice cream. Uh, sorry, my vodka over scotch. Uh, did I say I prefer vodka over scotch? Probably because vodka is cheap. Scotch is quite expensive here in Kenya. The, the, the only cheap scotch that I know of is VAT. So uh, vodka because uh, it's cheap and because... Yeah, it's not like I hate scotch, but vodka because it's cheap in Kenya. Uh, okay, thank you. We're done. Crossbow over to you. All right, Ada. Thank you for sitting in the. Yeah, before you go, you'd have to speak today. So, can you do us the honor? I didn't hear you, Prosper, if you were talking to me. Ada, I think you'd like to hear you sing, please. Uh, I, okay, I've been postponing it for the past Three weeks, I think, but still, I don't know what to sing. Can you give you guys give me some, uh, maybe, what do you want me to sing? You can sing to Arab. Aish. Aish. I mean, something universal. Ada, anything by Linkin Park? I, I, this is, with Chester's voice, you think I can go that high? Let me think, let me think. Uh, there's this song by Gary Jules. It's called Mad World. I'll try some few lines that I know of, but first let me let me get the lyrics. Um, Ama, you could try Mbogi Genje, so. Eish. Mungeambia muikali hiyo si mimi. Okay, it's probably going to be boring because my, my voice is slow and the song itself is sad, but okay, the first three lines and then I'm out. Um, all around me are familiar faces, worn out faces, worn out places, right and early for the daily races. Going nowhere, going nowhere. The tears are filling up the glasses. No expression, no expression. <laughs> Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I okay, that's it. Ah, that's nice. It was really nice. Music. Sound the name of the song? The song is called Mad World by Gary Jules. Let me let me type it. Uh, Prosper, could I nominate somebody for Ask Me Anything sessions for next week? Kindly. I really want to know. For today? No, for next week. Uh, th they never talk, so like, I just wish they had a chance to know her. Today? Are you asking for that? No, for yeah. next week. I want to know okay. somebody. I have a list. 
just nominate, but I have a list. So who do you want to be? Uh, I'd like to nominate Bessie to be Bessie Mukaria. Uh, Bessie Bessie Mukaria. Okay. She. Great. She's the best. Yeah. So she. Uh, yeah. She can sort of Monday. If you're on for Monday. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe, maybe yeah. Friday, on, Gerald. <laughs> Friday? Yes, I, 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 I second that. <laughs> okay, okay. Friday is too late. How about Friday? Friday is okay. No, Blessed has never Friday. spoken. You She's always Friday. quiet, so. Ah, uh, okay. Can I, can I nominate one more? Person. Okay, Friday it, it is. We do Friday. Yes, nominate. Yeah. Yeah, uh, TJ, I already went. Actually, the first AMA was mine, so thanks for the nomination. I nominate Rahil. Rahil, maybe on Tuesday or something. Yeah. We've never yes. had her also, yes. so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> first part. Okay. I also Wait, have an opinion. Yeah. Rao, there is a Rao. guy called Natalie. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Natalie has said uh, no, but I think we can get him on. Uh, uh, Natalie. Okay, who else wants? Okay, we have Sigu. Yeah, can we also nominate Moodle Work? We need a last person, or so I'll know how to fix it. Um, Mulu work. Okay, Mulu work. We're good. All right, so yeah. the list is full. Mulu work. Your book. Yep. Uh, Prosper, can I make one last request? Okay, so I will share with as soon as possible. Right. That will be for another week. Before. No, no, no oh, not. I'm week. not going to nominate. It's just a request. Hello. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, so the request is for Adaki. Uh, <clears throat> can you please, please, please sing uh, Sound of the Silence, if you know the lyrics, please, right now? <laughs> Ada, this is for you. Sound of the silence. Adake, over to you. Yeah. Uh, I unfortunately can't sing that song right now because I don't know the lyrics to it, but I'll give Benny a call and sing to him personally. Oh, <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> Thank you, Ada. All right, guys. So we're we're done. Super happy about the numbers and I, the late night guest talk today at six p.m. one m. Indian time and four p.m. in the four p.m. Nigerian time. So please do make time. Fortunately, my my internet is acting up. And my team, I would have loved one of them to help me shut down. So let me quickly do that to have someone sing our closing song or a song for us.